Hi guys, so I am in Denmark right now, right? The joy of online classes. So I am Dr. Harvey. I will be your professor for this semester. And I just wanted to welcome you to the class. So welcome. Uh, you are taking developmental psychology. So we are going to be studying the normal development of humans from birth through death. So that means that we're going to be looking at how is it that people change and develop from like even pre-birth, so what we call womb to tomb. So it starts out inside the womb where uh, you're, be, you're conceived, you develop, the way your mom eats, the stress level she's out, if dad smokes, all of those things are going to be affecting you. So um, yeah, so those are the things that we will be looking at all the way up through childhood, middle age, elderly years, and even a chapter on death itself. So I'm going to post video lectures every single week. I'll post PowerPoint, I'll post online um, outlines of what I go over in the lecture. I will post quizzes for you. So every single chapter, every week, there will be a quiz. And then we will also have a an exam after every three chapters. So hopefully that will help to keep you guys on track with your studying, where you know that there's going to be a quiz, you're going to have to do the reading, you're going to have to look through the PowerPoint, check out the chapter outline so that you know what the important stuff is. Everybody always asks me, what should I be studying? What's the most important thing? And my answer is always like, everything's important. Um, but the outline definitely has the most important stuff. But the way I do my test, so I have a big, huge collection of questions that I have uh, put together over the years that I've been teaching at VBC and other schools. And the test randomly selects from there. So it really could be on just about anything in the chapter, but it will definitely be on more of the conceptual level stuff. I'm not so nitpicky about like dates and exact numbers and so on, unless it's something that stands out as really important. If it's names, um, there are some names that are important, Freud, Bandura, people like that. Those are names that you're going to have to know, but uh, if I talk about it in the lecture, then it's definitely something that you need to know. If it's in the PowerPoint, the PowerPoint is really narrowing down the stuff that's in the chapter. Um, that's the thing that I thought was important enough to lecture on, so it's definitely important enough for you to know. So the way that I suggest you study is get together with somebody else from the class, quiz each other, ask questions, and then, um, I mean, really testing each other like that is the best way that you could possibly learn. So that is my number one suggestion. So, okay, so you're gonna have your lecture, you'll have all those resources online, and then you, you'll you be doing your quizzes, you'll be doing your exams, you'll also be doing a discussion board every week. So I'm gonna post some topic for you to read something, watch a video, and then you have to put your comment about it, answer the questions that I put, put your comment, and then uh, reply to two other people. Um, you could even reply the same person, but it just has to be two comments. So usually I say you have to have your comment up by Thursday. Do I say Thursday? I think it says Thursday. Thursday or Friday, but I think it's Thursday. Um, and then two more comments on other people's posts by Sunday. Okay? Um, so videos, quizzes, exam discussion board and then at the end of the semester there is a term paper that you're going to be doing which coincidentally is about Denmark. So uh, the Danish have a really interesting way of parenting their children which I think is very much like we used to parent in the United States back in the 1980s. It talks about the Danish philosophy of parenting. Particularly, they have a unique philosophy called Huga, which means sort of like coziness, the warmth of being together and spending time and just um, enjoying that togetherness that I really think is something that we're missing in American culture. So I like to introduce it through this book. So anyhow, you guys are gonna be reading that book. Um, you're gonna implement some of their parenting strategies with a child in your life. It could be your kid, somebody else's kid, doesn't matter. And then, um, and any age, 
right? Toddler up through teenager is totally fine. And then you're going to be including that in the term paper. And that's in your syllabus. I'll also post more information about it later. So explore the Blackboard, check it out. If you have questions in the discussion board section, there is a section where you can post questions and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Obviously I'm traveling right now. I'll be back um, your first week of school, so I won't be um, in no internet land for very long. Uh, so if you can get a hold of me through Blackboard, email me. If I don't respond to an email within, say, 24 hours, then you can also text me, and that number is online in the discussion board section. All right, so if you have any questions about the class, any questions about Denmark or anything else, then let me know, and I'm looking forward to a fun class.